hello everyone yeah i'm sorry videos are not coming at exact 10 pm as we have promised but you need to um you need to manage <laughs> i'm trying my best but yeah i'm unable to okay so welcome back to day number 14 uh, last day day number 13 was a big day because we learned a, a very huge uh, or very important concept from very long and that is blocking and non-blocking i will strongly recommend you please go through uh, to that episode after two three days because our brain uh, tend to forget things as days progress right so if you keep on seeing that uh, episodes episodes three after some day then there is a huge possibility that you will retain that question and for sure you're gonna get this question in your interview for sure in any front-end interview okay so today we will start with this one and this is again another add-on we get whenever we use the always block or a initial block or a procedure block that's why we are using procedures block right we are making our life complicated with blocking non-blocking why because we get one thing is that with blocking and non-blocking we got the ability to design our sequential circuits also and our combination circuits also and additionally we also get these con conditional statements like if else then your case statement and there are many things we will explore those each day by day but today is the day for if else the most versatile conditional expression you have in our general purpose coding and also in Verilog but in Verilog it is a bit different it is not exactly same as your general purpose computing uh, uh, programming we will see it right so what's the difference difference is that with if else you also have a huge potential to make one mistake and that is i'll come there later but before that see uh, they, they need to use the always block here because without a always block they we don't have access to if and else block so we are using always block and after always block you need to you know right we need to use a begin block and a end block these are just like your curly braces in our c plus plus or in, if you did your java or any other there we use braces right so begin and ends nothing special these are just to combine multiple lines of code then under if we give some condition and then we again need to write this begin and end if we have multiple line here we are only having one line so it's not necessary but they are just giving us syntax why how we need to write it right now the question is that if you write any if a statement if something uh, some condition if that condition is true do this thing if it is not true then else do another thing so if we just write a if like this simple right then what's like wh what is the equivalent circuit we developed and that is we developed a 2 is to 1 multiplexer because we have two condition and we have a uh, like controller for example if it is rain i will uh, have a umbrella with me so for example here i i have written umbrella and here i have written no umbrella neg of umbrella like uh, inversion of umbrella and here i have written rain so if my rain equal to one like rain is happening then this umbrella i will choose the umbrella in output i'll get the umbrella i need to have umbrella to go out so el else if rain is zero there is no raining then i won't take any umbrella this is the logic digital logic circuits how we can uh, have an example from our real life and we can uh, simulate same thing in a digital logic now there, there is another way because we, we are using if statement inside the always block but in some case we don't want to use always block then what's the uh, do we have any alternative to use the same thing and yes we can use this one and this is the type actually this type we can use assign is there right and you know assign is never being used inside a procedure block or a always block so if you want to write your if else or some conditional things without using your always then you can use this technique so this technique is same uh, you just need to be con concentrating here this question mark is like if so we are just here we are just questioning our condition for example i am questioning my condition and that is rain is rain is happening if yes then the first condition will get true so my x would be take the umbrella and if rain is not happening or if the condition is false then i'll execute the y or this out will get the y and which is 
inversion of umbrella don't bring the umbrella so that's a simple logic now we will try to do some practice but yeah i have said you and they have also written it here and that is however uh, if statement provides a new way to mistakes and that is very dangerous we will go deep into the mistake in our next problem but before we go there let's explore the simplest form of if else condition with a practice so here we need to build a 2 is to 1 mask we have already built 4 is to 1 marks using a case statement but 2 is to 1 is very simply can be implemented using a if else statement so we need to choose between a and b right we will choose b if your this variable and this variable both are true otherwise we will choose a right and they are saying do the same twice once using assign assignment assign assignment type where we don't need any procedural block and the second time we will do using a always block or a procedural block so going to be interesting you have the answer you know how to do it if yes pause the video do it on yourself and then only if you get the first answer then only resume my video and see how i am doing it and also we will discuss about questions uh, so don't miss the last part of this uh, video okay so let us do it so first we will do using assign statement so how i'll do i'll write assign and what need to be done we have two output here right one is y one is reg and i'm sure you are com confident that with assign we need to use a reg type output right so okay equal to now in assign statement how we write this condition and that is first the condition so what is the condition condition is that if your select b1 and select b2 both are true so how we write that both are true right not it is not like if b1 select b1 is true or b2 is true it's not like that we are saying both need to be true so in logical sense or in boolean algebra sense how we write this thing we write cell select b1 and end select b2 don't get confused with a gate that hey and person and person will create a gate this n person and person one is also a logical and my dear right and here what we want to do we want to include both of these two if both of these two are one because what your logical end do like in behavioral sense for example if you have two variable a and b uh, they have th this many combinations sorry this is one zero and one one right so what your logical end do if zero zero i'll get a zero zero one i'll get a zero one zero i'll get a zero only if both are true then only i'll get a one and in our question they have mentioned if you go a little above they have mentioned here that hey select b only both are true so that's why we need to use this this fellow this logical so here if both are true or both are one then only my conditional will condition will get um, true value and if my condition get a true value then this is the syntax the first value will get selected so what we need to select we need to select b else if the condition is not true like one of them are not true right then we will get a zero here so if it is zero then select a and then your semicolon so done this is with assignment now with always so for always for sure we will need to write a always block and what we are doing generally we are doing a two is to one mask right here also in circuit in hardware we will generate a two is to one mask only and your two is to one mask is a combinational circuit and for combinational circuit which type of always block we use we are discussing last lecture and that is we always use at the rate star sensitivity list right so don't be confused here okay after that we will start our block we are begin so begin and end are just the braces in our general purpose coding here we just need to write begin and end after that here we'll write if if the condition is true so same thing same logical operator need to be here so if this thing is true then what we need to do we need to select b or we need to give output as b so we will write out equal to b now there is a question uh, should i write out no i need to use one of them one of them right we have two output variable right so where i can't use because inside always block you can't use a where 
there we need to use a rest type so i need to use this one rest type if you are getting confused then please visit my last two lecture that i have explained what those mean why rest why where but i hope you are clean and clear with these things these terminologies okay so here see after if i only have one line so therefore i am not using this thing begin and end but if i write also then also it's not a harm you can write no worry right you can write so let us let us no don't write it if it's not required then don't write it but if you write it then also it won't be an error okay else if this is true then okay else what we gonna do out always equal to here also we can write begin and end but as it is a simple line one line we are not writing it we are ending and module and perfect let's submit it and see we got a success result so this is a simple way we are doing if else but there is some dangerous way also by which we can create many error so now is the time to see today's questions and this is your today's question and it is what's the difference between initial and always procedural block mostly you have this type of question also please please comment down your answer is needed right uh, if you practice here then only you can execute those things in your perfect interview in our last lecture uh, day 13 we don't have any questions so i'm not discussing any questions and i'll see you in next class where we'll discuss the the issue with if else statement till then keep smiling and tata bye bye